Right, so. Do you not feel like they're lacking some physical damage on the side of TNC? Yes. Uh, they have, they have Juggernaut though. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. No, tell me, Meepo. Me, Meepo is quite uh, weak against uh, Timbersaw and Batrider in the early stages of the game. Those two heroes are pretty good against uh, Meepo. With first strike still there ready. Not enough lockdown, of course, to kill that Sand King. Yeah, so you could pop the sound. Actually, comes back in a little earlier, so if he cancels the south willingly. He's looking for the kill potential. In fact, he might just have it. Cuckoo pops the fairy fire. He will end up giving up his life for that one, but he's able to get the kill beforehand. It feels like there's a slight edge for OG in terms of what they're getting done for the map because they have no tail in this jungle and they're able to give this bottom lane to the warlock. Um, but TNC certainly not that far behind them. In lane, Cuckoo goes in pretty deep. Oh, Jarrett, uh, he's gonna have to follow up hook and indeed with that, that looks like Cuckoo will be taken down. Jarrett, very, very uh, fortunate there. And is gonna be very happy with the fact that you know, I find that set up for the kill. Top lane immediately though, TNC trying to react, but No-Tail's there with the rotation. S4 is able to be kept alive. And in fact, No-Tail gonna be able to take down both of them. They're both heroes on the top lane going down for TNC. And OG keeping everyone alive just by the skin of their teeth. I think it's mostly mostly the timber cell getting really fat, which he is. He's getting his farm on the bottom lane for sure. And it looks like OG want to put an end to that. Yeah, moving both S4 and Jerex down to the bottom lane with this smoke rotation. TNC will be the first to make a go, looking towards Fly. TP's coming through as well, and indeed OG. They'll get the wraparound. Anna's going to turn up. A look towards the Timber Saw with Jerex and S4 and finish off Rior. Now they're going for Raven. Jump forward from Anna. It's the root. S4 doesn't quite get the call though. The hook missing as well, so OG won't find the Timber Saw kill there. So, no lasso or such. Maybe they can find no tail. I mean, no tail with the dragon lance, he's pretty big. He'll try for the poof out. Immediate cancel there for the telekinesis, but he just re poofs and he's back to safety. At the same time, though, Cuckoo going absolutely ham. Takes he down was. two members of OG. Top lane TNC aren't done. They'll now go in again onto no tail, but they just don't have the damage, Ben. I mean, dragon lance, the stats are good. TNC, I take the tier one up top. Sam H on his way to the blink 1100 gold in the bank. Bottom lane, Raven could be in trouble, no tell. He's heading down there with Fly and S4. S4, can he get the lock? He's not just going to go for the call straight away. This is around Raven, they just need to hit one of the nets to catch him, but he's already out of there with the timber chain. And looks like Raven, can he live here? Because now Anna's come in with the wraparound. They're trying to chase down this timber. Jarrett, he'll hit the hook, that'll do it. OG this time round, able to take down Raven. Bottom lane, TNC ready to make a play. Sam H. We are ready to go. They have Epicenter at the ready. What kind of an opening they can find. They're coming over towards the the shrine spot here of OG. No tails in the neighborhood. So he's flying though. Fly on the low ground. He, in fact, may come across and maybe able to help out No Tail. No Tail immediately again got it. And he does. He had the rock. Dropped it. And it comes across. And TNC. They didn't expect the Warlock there to be hiding just behind them. And that golem there pretty much just turned around that entire smoke. TNC, they are kind of at that point where Meepo is getting very strong and very difficult to actually kill without uh, getting away unscathed. Ooh. There's a lot of TPs coming in onto the bottom lane here. Anna doesn't look like he got out soon enough. So the power strike into the lasso and more than enough lockdown to bring down that Ember Spirit. Raven pushing out. No tell. In the neighborhood, they could look to try and uh, come in for the kill here. Indeed, S4, no tell. Now, hunting and S4, well, he's found him immediately in with the blink pool. No tell bringing in the gang of Meepo. Sam H will be there with a good burrow strike. Well, it's time for Raven. In fact, no tell falling low and he's out. Sam H there turning up a time. S4 will manage to avenge his Meepo brother as he jumps in and is able to get the dunk out. But TNC, something going to be able to clear out both of them here. They'll surround the axe, bring him down. And absolutely huge that they do get that Meepo kill and, and a second one to follow up as well. Let's see what goes on here. Can they... Meepo immediately backs off from the yep. bottom lane. And they, they, know, uh... they know what's happening in there. And they'll still look. Get the jump in onto the purge. OG will be there with a the reaction. Immediately Jerek's pulling down low. In they come with the epicenter sandwich. Looking for the back line. He's trying to go for Fly. Fly still gets the golem down. TNC, they've lost one. Meepo. Big Bow has tried for Sammy. Catches him out. They've actually taken down No Tail. Two out at the moment for either side. Cuckoo surrounding S4. The Blade Fury. That'll do it. Three dead on OG. At the end of the day, even OG seem prepared for that. TNC, they come out on top, they're killing this Meepo. Trade though, OG. Yeah, like TNC actually going to start TPing down into the bottom lane. 
They want to try and hold on to their tier two here. Sam H with the epicenter, they're ready on the sidelines. See what sort of an opening they can find here. In fact, it's going to be the uh, Timbersaw initiated on. Sam H going for the epicenter, jumps in, hits it onto three. Absolutely beautiful for Sam H. But the OG will cut down onto one. They've taken one. Can TNT get any more out of this? They're looking towards No Tail. He's incredibly low. The flame break will connect with the final slash brings him down. And Sam H. Just pulling out play after play here. He finds the lock on to fly. Back upstairs. OG lose four. TNC pulling off the team fights exactly as they need to to be able to beat this Meepo. It just depends who has the worst position. If you're inside the pit, you're going to die. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty well, yeah. Who, whoever's in go. there is, is gone. Take down the helm of the dominated creep. Mid lane. Anna going incredibly forward and immediately gold. Not. Ember Spirit is out. And TNC. And they're going to have the numbers advantage to play with for a good 50 seconds. They need this T1 down before they can do Roche, but Ember Spirit is still down for 40 seconds, so it possibly could be a T1 into a Roche threat and oh, into a buyback. Sammy boy, and he just set up. Fly will be there with a nice three man calling the last to be a buyback here from Anna. They're looking to turn it, they'll come in and cut them down, and they've just managed to find three, but they can they get any more. That's the question. I mean, Sammy is still alive here. They've got the Sentry Ward down, they will find him. Okay. Big buyback there from Anna, jumping in, but Walt. Pretty much, once again, it's fly with these golems. Now the game has changed a lot because Mevo completed Scythe of Ice. Ooh. Scythe of Ice is one of the most devastating items against Yeah, and S4 wants to fight here. Jumps in onto Cuckoo immediately there with a the hook of the dismember. He's out. Fly drops the golem. Look for Sam H as well. Remnant 4 from Anna. Can they chase this down? Ooh, where was the chains? He yeah, still has didn't, one. Didn't connect the combo there. Well, we'll be able to blink forward now, get it in, and then with no tail, in with the side. Now pick up a second, TNC to lose two, Rio coming forward, it's a bit of a feed train here from TNC as they lose three heroes, one after another, and OG now with that big opening to push into the base and to get some serious damage done, I mean you can never underestimate the pushing power of this no-tail Meepo, with the stats and damage that he has. TNC in a bit of a rocky position, they do have the, uh, the epicenter still available on Sam A. Over hook. To Raven now they'll go for the epicenter in they go again Sam H with these huge epicenters He's been able to shut down the Meepo here and they may even get themselves some more they have the Yules and him in the first time and oh Anna dukes it out doesn't matter Raven's there waiting by the remnant yeah for sure it was certainly a well-rounded way to finish it off and, and so far this game back and forth Cuckoo's in into the pit they go Let's see if OG can do anything about this. They are going to smoke and immediately head over. And they do something big. Uh, he's going to find the pickoff here with the hook, Jarak. Has out one. Good call from S4 as they pick up Rio as well on the Rubik. And they lost the gem. That was risky. He did not deward, or he was trying to deward it and then he just died. Sad times there for the Sand King. Fly's like, I'm trying to take down this prime myself, guys. Jarak. Uh, that's been caught out. And uh, the Omni Sash as well, be ringing down this Pudge. They'll find it. S4 though, ready for the turnaround. Comes in with a call. Again, the Golem from Fly onto three more. They'll actually find the Timber Saw here. Can they get themselves so anything more no tell? Big forward, the aggression here from Anna. Root onto two. S4's there with the Blink Call and the Blade Mail. They'll poof in, bring them down low the Shrine. Not enough to keep them alive here. Reels down. Ravens come forward. Brought back for this one. Sam H in with the fire strike. Looks to focus down a Meepo. Pop the Aegis. Golem's still out here at the moment from Fly. No Tails ready for round two. Looks like he's going to play it safe though. Starts to back away. That was a really tough call for Raven right there. Yeah. He, he had like they 20 can kill the left. Meepo. Yeah, if they kill Meepo, it's definitely worth it. But. I mean, the real question is, can they? They have caught out one here. S4's come back in, but he gets Yule's up immediately, so he can't really help out too much. He's stuck in the chakra. He's out, but at the same time, TNT losing members as well. Bat surrounded. The net's there from No Tail. Oh, oh, Raven. If he goes down as well here, and it looks like he may be in trouble. Actually, the first net, the second net, missing. The Raven's going to be fine. In fact, goes back in towards No Tail. As the Yule set up onto one of them, does he have the damage? Jarex is there with a the hook, allows no tail to poof out. It's going to be very costly if they lose this gem. 
TNC maybe with a, a potential bit of a final hurrah if they lose this fight. They're, they may be trying to bait out with the Meepo Illusions. Actually, two of them are just going to be pushing out the lane from No Tail. Let's see where they can find it, Jarex. On the front of this one, but Uji is there. They can turn in into this and they can fight. Column will be dropped. Damage came for, but immediately hexed up by No Tail. They'll surround Raven and Damage again getting rooted up by the Nets here. Anna's already taken down one on the sidelines. No Tail is falling down low. They do have the damage to pick up, but OG overall as a team, they've got the damage to find the favorable trade. And once again, you know, Meepo is dying. The entire team of TNC is going down as a cop. It's all come together here for OG. Lots of time here to hammer into the base of TNC. Uh, Sam H, you need to be big. He'll come in with the epicenter, but immediately rooted up. Raven pulls up the... Uh, Budge here, but it is again OG just moving in. The shrine heal is not going to be enough for TNC there. Anna's falling low. Actually, low on the mana as well. In fact, Anna he may go down here and he will indeed. They lose Anna. Jarex and Flight could be in trouble as well now because TNC coming back into the playing field. They go for the last onto Jarex because of the loads of sort of lassoing himself. And as you get these kills, I mean, Jarex is making them work for it with the dismember. Starting to heal himself back up. But now that Raven's there, the damage is going to be more than enough to bring him down. Fly, he somehow still survives though. He's in the trees, he TPs away. Meepo, can he find anything here, real? King Jarex, no tail. Jumping in, he's rooted one of them here. They're looking to fight OG. Sam A has the epi though. Comes in onto no tail, immediate reaction from Fly. He drops the golem. Sam H tries to use himself out. He will manage to play his way out towards the top. But Raven gets dunked down. TNC, they've already lost two. The hook there onto Cuckoo, cancelling the TP. They're going to find the Juggernaut as well, OG. There's another fight where they're bringing down three. And this time, OG losing no one in return. TNC doing their best to hold here, but OG, they're getting ready to put the pressure on. Anna comes in again, chops down the healing ward. And the shrine will be activated by Cuckoo. Four second cooldown hooks, five second searing chains. So, so much kind of fishing potential here, but bottom lane jumping onto no tail, but a Niji reaction from OG here. S4 comes in with the call, fly with the golem. Raven's incredibly low. TNC will get a lasso, but it's only onto Jarex dragging back. There's not enough damage to bring down this Pudge. No tails just surrounding the Cuckoo Juggernaut. Hits him out, two dead on TNC. No buybacks, the root up real, a third dead on TNC. As OG opening up a good window now to safely destroy the base of TNC. Again, another blink forward route from Anna. Playing with TNC, keeping them back towards their fountain. And can they kill Raven? He's so close to the fountain, he's not going to make it home safely tonight. OG, cut down at four. GG is called. At the end of the day, OG, the Meepo strat worked out, Ben. And some really, really solid kind of team play. We, we saw it from both sides. We've got to give a hats off to TNC for some of those early engagements, especially Sam H's sanking play. Some big epicenters. Both strikes still there ready. Not enough lockdown, of course, to kill that Sand King. In lane. Cuckoo pops the South. Actually comes back in a little earlier, so if he cancels the South willingly. He's looking for the kill potential. In fact, he might just have it. Cuckoo pops the Fairy Fire. He will end up giving up his life for that one, but he's able to get the kill beforehand. It feels like there's a slight edge for OG in terms of what they're getting done for the map because they have no tail in this jungle and they're able to give this bottom lane to the Warlock. Um, but TNC certainly not that far behind them. In lane, Cuckoo. Goes in pretty deep. Oh, Jarex, uh, he's going to have to follow up hook and indeed we're going to be able to take down both of them. They're both heroes on the top lane going down for TNC and OG keeping everyone alive just by the skin of their teeth. I think it's mostly mostly the timber cell getting really fat, which he is. He's getting his farm on the bottom lane for sure. And it looks like OG want to put an end to that. That looks like Cuckoo will be taken down. Jarex, very, very uh, fortunate there. And is going to be very happy with the fact that 
And I find that set up for the kill. Top lane immediately, though TNC trying to react, but no tails there with the rotation. S4 is able to be kept alive, and in fact, no tail. Do you not feel like they're lacking some physical damage on the side of TNC? Yes. Uh, they have, they have Juggernaut, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. No me, tail Meepo. Me, Meepo is quite uh, weak against uh, Timbersaw and Batrider in the early stages of the game. Those two heroes are pretty good against uh, Meepo.